Hey Sparkle Squad, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to be doing a try on with the two new Bridgerton palettes and then um, I'm also going to be trying the uh, new lipstick uh, in the shade Veiled Rose and then I'm also putting on uh, the lip liner in the shade Bare Rose. So um, I am going to quickly do my uh, lips here so you can see the brand new shade uh, Veiled Rose in action. So I'm gonna go and do my lip liner real quick. Okay, so this is the lip liner. And then I'm going to put on the shade Veiled Rose. That is stunning. I really like that shade. Wow. Kind of like a My Lips the Better shade. And then it is pretty moisturizing, but I just like to add a gloss on top. So I'm going to go ahead and go over it with see here. I'm gonna go over it with the shade Prima Donna. There, and that just makes them look a little bit more juicy. Awesome. So, now that lips are done, my face is done besides the eyes, so um, I'm just gonna jump right into the um, eyeshadow. I'm trying to decide what shades I want to start with here. There's a look that I've been, like, wanting to do. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to start it. I think I'm gonna go into the first collaboration in the shade Art of the Swoon. That's that middle shade right there. I'm gonna go into that one first. This is one where you have to build it up quite a bit, but I don't really mind that much. So then you can get um, a more even blend and the, the lighter blend towards the outside. It's a very pretty color. Um, it's just kind of this mid light to mid-tone pink, um, kind of, yeah, more traditional, like, bubblegum pink. These are pigmented, but you have to build them up quite a bit. I'm kind of more used to her traditional mattes where you don't really have to build up as much, which... I mean, if you're just looking to, you know, if you don't want a lot of pigment to start out with and you want to be able to build it, you want to be able to get the most control of how your product builds up and blends out, these make really, really nice shades for that. But if you're just looking for instant pigment, blend out a little bit and go, then these really aren't that in my personal opinion or at least not this one which again is the shade Art of the Swoon in the first Bridgerton palette that pigment is really starting to layer up nicely I like to have my looks more pigmented because it brings out my eyes, I think. Okay, that is pretty good. That's the first shade that I'm using. And then I'm going to go into... Let me see here. 
Oh, I also used my Sonia G Worker brush for that shade. Next, I'm going to go into um, let's see, same Bridgerton palette, the first one in Plum, Plum Regalia, this bottom shade here, with my Refer number one brush. Very pretty color. I'm just going to see how that is. Very, this one's very pigmented right off the bat. Maybe it was just that one shade. That pink shade that just... No, it's supposed to be a lighter color. outer V. I want it to be as deep as I can get it. And then I'm going to take my Sonia G Worker brush again and just kind of lightly go over the edges to make sure they're fully blended together. And one more time with my, with a deeper shade. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more blend. There, that looks pretty good. So then I'm going to do the same on the other side. I kind of like my eyes to be just like a little bit pointed, I guess, to get like a little bit of a upward slant. I try not to do a more circular kind of look if I can help it. I did just get a little bit of fallout here, so I'm going to dust that away. It dusts away super, super easily, so you don't have to worry about it sticking to your face or anything. That's how the eyes are looking so far. Pretty good if I do say so myself. And then I'm gonna go into the shade. Oh, let's see, what is this one called? It's called Duchess Divinity. It's this shade here. And I'm just going to go in with my finger. Ooh, that feels so nice. I'm just going to go in on my with my finger. That's a very pretty color. Supposedly this one is supposed to be uh, similar to the shade in... Um, uh, the Divine Rose 2 palette, but I think this one has more sparkle to it. That's very pretty. I really like that shade. And again, I did get just a little bit of fallout with that color, but it's okay. It'll just swipe away. I think I'm going to put this color on my lower lash line, too. This is a very, very easy look to achieve. Pomograph eyeshadows are just so easy. You know, you think you need to do so much work to it and then, oh, all of a sudden you've got to look. Okay, now I'm taking my Refer 28 brush with um, that same shade, the uh, Duchess Divinity shade. I'm going to run that under my lash line. Try to 
trying to be careful to not get any pigment in my eye, which is usually I do. I just kind of tap it out of my eye. That color. Under the lash line. That one's very pretty. I really like this color. And then I'm just gonna go back in with the Plum Regalia shade and just tap it over this to make sure it blends okay. And again on the other side. I just don't want any harsh lines. And then back through to clean up the fallout. So that's how that is looking. Now I'm gonna go in with my with a highlighter shade. I'm actually gonna go in to the newer palette in the shade let's see refinement this um the skin show shade and i'm just gonna put that in my brow bone it takes a minute to build that one up And then for my inner corner, I'm going to go into Diamond's Desire, which is this super pretty pink shade. I'm just going to do that with my finger. That is gorgeous. Now this is an astral shade. That's definitely an astral. You see how shiny that is? I'm actually going to go over top of this uh, Duchess Divinity shade to add just a little bit more sparkle. That's pretty. I like that a lot. Okay. It's really hard to see just how shiny these are. So, um, now I'm going to go back and blend just one more time since I decided to put another color on my lid and one more time to clean up the fallout okay now I'm gonna do liner and lashes and I'll be right back okay so this is the final look with liner and lashes I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer so you can see the full look This is stunning. I love that uh, Diamond's Desire shade. Um, so I need to head off to work. So um, I will leave you here, but thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please uh, like it, and uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, if you want to know what else is on my face, I will leave all of that in the description box below. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!